Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with a Progetto 65. I noticed we haven't played a single time um, with this vehicle for a YouTube video in 2022. So I believe it is about the time to have some fun. Uh, and skill, I have a question. Is this tank still good? Absolutely yes. Skill, do you still enjoy this vehicle after all those years? Absolutely yes. For me, auto reloaders have a special place in my heart apart Rhino. Don't you dare to say absolutely anything about the Rhino. And other than that, I am having a great time playing with this tank. Obviously, it is not as strong as it used to be. <coughs> and I believe this is not a big surprise. Uh, it just used to be a better tank overall, right? But we will still make it work. Uh, my goal, my goal um, in this session is to get four and a half thousand combined, maybe five thousand combined. I think we definitely are able to do this. At least that's what I think and that's what I want to believe. So how we are starting everything here, we are starting everything from a typical position, from where we will be able to punish enemies whenever they are going to do something silly. Or we will bounce twice for 30U and we are going to complain afterwards. Also could be a possibility. That was quite sad to be fair with you. But once again, uh, shit happens and RNG said no. And if RNG said no, we need to accept this and uh, um, hope for better luck uh, for uh, next time, I guess. We have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of forces who are making a hardcore pressure here, which is actually pretty good stuff, fellas. Which is actually pretty good stuff. I'm going to get involved with here. I think we can definitely get involved and we definitely can punish enemies for uh, their mistakes and for their stupidity. I want to believe that. Vaza is trying to escape like this. I think what I can do, I can cut this gentleman and I can try to clip the living crap out of him just like so. I'm going to go up like this, and hopefully we are going to eliminate him from the game. Hopefully. Crooks free kill, nice. <clears throat> I am always accepting free kills, and I'm always happy about that. And the next victim will be this Manticore, if he is not going to escape from the current position, right? Uh, speaking about the start, once again, it is not ideal. Um, I missed couple of very very important and couple of very easy shots to the 430U but you know sometimes game can say <laughs> and if the game is saying <laughs> nothing what you can change about that. Cool our team secured the east actually west sorry so all we need to do we need to try to punish the um, sniper schnitzels here in the base. I want to believe we, we should be able to do this relatively easily. Our Ruski Light is making pressure, and let's see, do they have sniper schnitzels in the back? Oi, oi. Manticore. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's spank Manticore. Let's spank the E4. Let's spank the E4. And I could wait until I will reload. I think that's what I'm going to do. I do not really think I have any other option whatsoever. Meanwhile, while we are reloading... What am I thinking? I am thinking how to approach the enemies in the smart way and how not to get slaughtered. Meanwhile, we found the 430U. Hello there. You had quite a lucky situation before, buddy. What do you think? How long your luck will last? Let's check it out. Now hit me and come here. And come here. And come here. Ooh, that was weird. Okay, fair enough. I am accepting this. Nothing I can change about that. Four seconds left. That's all right. Can we spank him once again? This is the question. Yes, we can. Very good. We are sitting on the 2000 currently, which is okay. I know we can get more and I know we are going to get more, but all I need to do, I need to be relatively patient, fellas. I need to wait until I will reload fully. That's what... Oh, yoy. I did not notice him. I did not notice him. I almost got um, spanked in the face, honestly. 
Anyways, what do we need to do at this point? At this point, we are going to say hello for a Sterva, obviously, and hello for the same 430U. 430U is thinking about spanking us, he just fired, doesn't really matter whatsoever. This guy is dead, beautiful, how about this Mr. E5? I am aiming for his cupola, but that was a very, very bad shot from my side. Once again, I'm accepting this, this is a warming up game in a way, right? This is the very first game which I am playing and I, let's say, um, woke up recently which is completely fine and don't get me wrong i am not complaining whatsoever about this and i believe we are going to get a bit more use of uh, of this situation that's great now we are going to go for cupola shot excellent very very nice uh what to do next i think we are trying we will try to build a nice angle uh approaching the badger from the side at that point, I should have more than two in the magazine, which is going to be always nice and always welcome. And the crane is thinking he is safe. After three seconds, we are going to prove him wrong, if I can say so. Mm-hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Such a weird commander on this tank, right? Such a weird commander. Yelling penetration. Yelling enemies hit. No? Can I hit him once? Pretty please? Beautiful! Perfect! 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 Well, to be completely honest with you, it was like farming simulator in a way. Uh, what can I say? I could have gotten, let's say, six to seven thousand if uh, if I would not miss a couple of shots. Once again, the highlight of this was the start uh, whenever we were uh, missing the 430U. But other than that, I am feeling pretty happy and uh, uh, this is a solid ace. Ace for 5,000? Ooh, looks like expectations for this vehicle kind of significantly uh, drop it down to be fair with you. Look at this ugly mother trucker. Phew. Uh, anyways. So, what do we have here? 1.3 thousand base experience, close to 5 thousand damage, uh, 800 assisting damage, and 82 thousand profits, although profits are coming because we completed the mission as well. Other than that, I am feeling very good. Let's go for round number two. And we are back. So, Round number two. Um, I was thinking for a second how do I want to do the things and how do I want to approach the enemies and I think there is only one way how we can do the things. Um, and I think we are going to make a hardcore pressure like this. Uh, hopefully we will have a three in the magazine at the time we need to shoot. Uh, and I think we can actually be relatively aggressive. Although... That's one. Beautiful. I can get another one. Good. Okay. At this point, I do not want to be aggressive anymore. We got a couple of free shots. That's nice and that's always welcome. Hip hip hooray. But I do not want to take the risk anymore. I truly think it is not worth it. Um, instead of making a hardcore risk there, we are going to relocate a bit and we are going to start punishing the gentleman whoever is playing around this area. I think it is going to be so much more beneficial for us. That's what I want to believe and I think we are going to cause a very very nice crossfire for the enemies as well, right? So the first things first, what do we want to do? We want to spank this T30, this is super important thing to do I would say. Let's see, do we have a decent enough angle to punish him? This is the question. I know he will react properly because he has a, a relatively nice position in my humble opinion, right? Um, although... Hmm. How aggressive do... Yeah, I need to be aggressive. A starva over there, nice. We know where a starva is, fellas. Is taking one for the team or oh. light tank Afaka. Do I want to farm Afaka tank? Do I want to farm the Afaka tank? I mean, he is just asking to get punished. You cannot blame me for spanking him once or twice or three times or something. You cannot blame me for that, or can you? Um, after all, we want to eliminate the hardest uh, tanks from the game, right? The most important tanks from the game as well. 
Skill you best at the tank. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate you. Okay, this Esterva might try to get a bit involved over there, and our Grille is doing a very, very, very good stuff. Mm, not exactly what we want to face here, to be fair with you. I mean, this T30 is trying to play hold down to the best of his abilities, I would say. The thing is, we cannot go up. Um, and the main reason being why we cannot go up is uh, um, because enemies have a very very nice crossfire over there. This might, this might, fellas, lead us to take one for the team, and we do not look for that. We do not want to do that. So relax, take it easy. We have plenty of time. Enemy Harta is dead. Everything is fine. Uh, I kind of want to go for a base defense as well in a way, but how to approach the enemies? I know there is at least two guns who are, or at least one gun who is waiting here and just simply saying peek, 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 peek. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have an idea. This might be not the wisest one, but we are going to relocate a bit. And we will try to spank enemies whenever they will mess up. And mess up they will, fellas. And mess up they will. Okay. Exactly what I'm looking for. Beautiful tracking shot. Amazing double tracking shot. Well, kind of double tracking shot. Okay, that's a nice magazine. Very, very nice. Let's turn around and let's think what we can do for this bloody T30. T30 is nearby, T30 is nearby, T30 is nearby, Grille, no! Oh, hi, good morning. T30 loaded high explosive to spank our Grille. I'm a bit sad about this because Grille is helping us by a lot, but you know. No, 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 no. Don't know! I was trying. I was trying to help you. And that's that's 100 percent true, fellas. I was trying to help our guy, but hashtag never lucky. I was trying to help him. I was trying to take one for the team and obviously to make um to make the barrier between him and T30 or this object, whatever, and I failed doing so. Shame. Okay, other than that. Other than that, nothing to say, nothing to do. Uh, pleasure to meet you, John. I assume this is your name. Um, I'm speaking about the grill and don't worry, STB, you will make it uh, work, my man. Anyways, looking into all of this, enemy team is stronger, nothing to add, nothing to say. Sometimes we need to accept the games like this and we need to say better luck next time. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back, fellas. Unfortunately, defeat. Um, 2.9 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage, I am feeling alright with that, uh, but unfortunately, once again, enemy team played better and they deserved what they got. Uh, MVP of this game, by the looks of it, is the 277, Great, good for him, he did uh, probably everything properly and that's why he finished on the top. And I truly try to help this uh, Grille as much as I physically and possibly could, uh, but unfortunately I, was, I wasn't there in time. Anyways, uh, it is how it is. We are third by the experience. We are second by the damage. We uh, uh, pretty much broke even, which is okay. Let's go for round number three. And we are back with round number three. So what do we have here? We have Lakeville standard battle and tier eight matchmaking. In this game, I need to figure out how to craft at least 5,000, I would say. And then we can call this game, then we can call this video a great success. Also, while I was waiting for matchmaking, one guy said from one game skill I could do 10,000, but I decided not to, so you can make video out of it. Good one, good one. I appreciate, fellas, your sense of the humor. Okay, we have plenty of the forces who are going to this side, that's nice. So what do we want to do? We want to par 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 par. Um, 
go a bit more aggressive into the city if it is possible. That's what we would like to do. Hmm. Do I want to be aggressive here? Unfortunate. Good. Very good. Mm, we are waiting until more forces will join here. There is no need for us to get uh, inside and after that to cry in the corner about uh, about the current situation. There is no. It is completely unnecessary to do so. Also, enemy light tank. Where enemy light tank could be? Where enemy light tank could be? Hmm. Eventually he might try to sneak like this and if he is going to do so obviously we will do everything what uh, what we physically and possibly can in order to spank him. By the way, I have a projecto stats open, right? And I will share uh, those with you after the um, current game. And I'm surprised, Progetto is still top 3 uh, most played um, tier 10 medium tank. This is quite surprising, fellas. It truly is. Anyways, what do we want to do? We want to get involved into this situation. So what we are going to do, we are going to make pressure together with our gentlemen here. I think this is the right way to do the things. I think this is the right way to do the things. We have E100 who is trying to make uh, pressure together with us and we are going to say hello for them. Meanwhile, what do we have here? Tier a tank is flexing with his 300 damage. Jokes on you, I have a magazine. Jokes on you, I have a magazine, buddy. See ya. Okay, very nice. We fully unloaded to the enemies. We are feeling fine. The main reason why we are feeling fine is um, because we have plenty of the guns over there. And I believe they are going to help us quite a bit. Now... For the sake of love, let's try to kill this gentleman. He is dead nice. And at this point, I am thinking about retreating back and figuring out how I can spank enemy Progetto or alternatively anyone else who will try to push through the middle. I know you'll see even either he is sitting in the middle or either he is sitting somewhere over there one out of two. He doesn't really have any more options. This is very important thing to say. Now, once again, making a hardcore pressure like so is not going to be very beneficial for us whenever we are not controlling the middle. It is just simply no bueno, fellas. Please keep this in mind. If I'm spotted here, that means ELC is so much closer. Okay, ELC is not that close. We are fine. And let's see, can we take this bush and wait until Progetto um, will go in front? This is the question. We still want to do 5,000 skill. You are losing this game. Yeah, but what do you expect me to do? To be a ninja turtle, teleport to the enemy defense lines and have them all like there is no tomorrow? Not so simple thing to do, fellas. Not so simple thing to do. I can promise you that. Mm. I wonder, what is the chance they are already somewhere over there and the convoy is not spotting how they are crossing? This is the question, fellas. This is the question, fellas. Okay, how about if we would go for a blind shot like so? Not good angle, to be fair with you. I cannot complain about this whatsoever. They are still not pushing in front that's a great news for us and i have another idea how about if i will try to spank this typical bush over there yeah i think i should be able to let's go for one blind shot let's go for two blind shots and let's go for a three one for the sake of love hmm very, very, very hard game, fellas. But this is interesting one. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm enjoying this game and I'm having a great time and obviously we are trying to do as much as we physically and possibly can. There is still chair footer which we need to be the living crap of. There is still waffle cock, you'll see even, who never ever was spotted. And once again, we are kind of stuck here as well. It is, uh, in other words, it is not uh, um, very easy for us to make one or another decision, right? It is not beneficial or it's not a great idea to make pressure like this, it's just not. Um, it is not a great idea to make pressure through the middle like this, it is just simply not worth it. We need to wait uh, and we pretty much need to see enemies making a silly goose mistakes. That's all we need to do, fellas. There is no other option in between, like, mm, we could do that and that and that and that. No, not really. Meanwhile, Progetto, beautiful, he is officially dead, excellent, that's what we was waiting for, very, very nice, that was very important, fellas, and at this point, we kind of need to um, go a bit more aggressive over there. I really want to support our Bobject in a way, right, and I want to get close to him. Hopefully we can help him to um, beat the Bizonte and Wafflecock and other mother truckers who are going to be very aggressive over there. Let's see, can we do that? Char Futur is clipping the living crap out of our guy. Unfortunately it is not so simple as I would love to say and he is already dead. Okay, what we need to do, we need to turn around and we need to run for our life. That's what we need to do. Until we are flying it, it doesn't really change the fact we are feeling relatively alright. Until we are flying it, right? Aka, until enemies are sitting over there. We are trying to help this E100 to escape from here if it is possible, right? We will add couple of the horses there and there. And now we are going to sit over there. This is the main uh, point for us, fellas. This is the main point for us. Okay, so, what do we want to see at this point? At this point, enemies will try to uh, approach us like so. That's okay, fellas, that's okay. This is what I want to see and this is what we are seeing. I need to keep um, attention to the Arta sound because Arta will try to spank us 100%. Good, very, very good. Leo is down to two shotable, but keep this in mind, there is still a lot of, a lot of, a lot of guys um, who can appear here on the corner, like plenty of them. Good. Good. Very, very good. We are holding this. We are holding this. You see, this auto loader can work extremely well in our favor. Oh, don't go like this, my man. Oh, don't go like this. That's a brave mother trucker, fellas. And this guy is a brave mother trucker for sure. Holy bananas, he have balls made out, um, out of the biggest material ever, which is bananas. You know this, I know this. Strong. Very, very strong. Okay. Bizonte. Bizonte is in deep, deep shithole, to be completely honest with you. All we need to do, we need to find a better angle and we need to kill him. Bizonte is dead. Great. Now we need to turn around and we need to see who is living here on the corner, right? That's all we need to do. Very interesting game. Very interesting game, fellas. Okay, what I need to do, I need to have a setting. Settings. Uh, upon pressing Alt, good. How many HP do they have? E100 down to Fartable. Grilla has quite a bit of HP. Wafflecock has quite a bit of HP. Leopata has a bit of HP. Mm. Not so simple as I would love to say. By the looks of it, our guys are beating the living crap out of this poor Grille. That's good and that's always nice and always much appreciated, right? Let's see who is living here on the corner. You know what? I want to believe enemies are trying to escape from here. 
That's what I want to believe. Am I correct? No one knows. No one knows, fellas. Okay, Waffle is trying to run away by the looks of it, right? Quite bad pick to be fair with you. Can we finish him off? Yep, we can. Um, we still have 700 hit points, which is nice and which is always welcome to have. Um, now we need to figure out how to get more. Leopata down to two shotable. Good. He's down to one shotable and rammable, I would say. <sighs> Don't you like to see that, fellas? Don't you like to see that? We know where enemy art is and we know where ELC is. Now we want to see this ELC taking one more for the team and hopefully we can finish him off. No! That could be the ninth kill! <laughs> yeah, that could be a ninth kill, fellas! Oh well, hashtag never lucky, I guess. Hashtag never lucky. Help! <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. Anyways, let's finish the last clicker and let's take the nine kills more likely, right? So what we are going to do, we are going like this and we are finishing him off with a solid nine kills. I believe... Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we made it work. I believe we made it work. Nine kills, fellas. Nine kills, shit ton of damage. That was a solid banana out of ten. We was one shot away from getting ten kills and I think our aim was top notch. Um, but unfortunately, it did not work that well. Um... Anyways, fellas, as you can see, patience is extremely important part of the world of tanks. And if we would have made pressure before, we would not even come close to the score which we have here. Yes, we were lucky on many shots. We high rolled some shots. We bounced some shots. Um, but once again, that's the game for you, fellas. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 5.8 thousand damage, 9 kills, 1.2 thousand um, base experience, 27 thousand profits, and all and all our session with Progetus. 4.5 thousand damage, 700 assisting damage, 2 victories out of 3. Call me dirty, but I think this disgusting mother trucker over there did a quite a, quite a job, fellas. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you were very, very well entertained. Uh, and I hope you had a great time together with us. So, thank you very much for everything. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.